In this conflict with Iran, there are all sorts of rumors out there, and that's fueling growing concerns among young people, especially about what could happen next. Eric Algrez spoke with a child psychologist about how to talk to your kids about what's happening in the Middle East. With tensions high between Iran and the United States, fear and anxiety are perfectly normal. We're all feeling scared today. But clinical psychologist Dr. Marta Otero says for kids and teens, it can be a whole lot worse. I think that can elicit some level of anxiety. A generation ago, you had to sit in front of the TV to see images like these. Now that's not the case. Now kids have access to violent video, inflammatory commentary, and questionable information in the palms of their hands. A lot of the news that they're getting isn't verified news that is adequate and correct. Now, even if your kids have never shown an interest in news or politics, there's talk about all of this on social media. Memes about World War III and a potential military draft have become so widespread. The Selective Service and U.S. Army recruiting have also taken to social media, warning young people about misinformation. So it's up to us to help them know what goes into something so catastrophic. For most kids, the war in Vietnam exists only in history books. And every year that passes, there are fewer and fewer World War II veterans left to tell their stories. The old saying is, learn from your history. Dr. Otero says while it might not be easy to talk to your kids about war, violence, and death, cell phones and social media make it almost impossible for us to shield them from it. If they say, I heard this at school, I saw this on social media, then talk to them about it and provide them with age-appropriate answers. In Fort Worth. I'm Eric Alvarez.